Homesteader family, welcome to this edition of the Sunday Monday vlog. Welcome to the journey. Thank you for being a part of the journey. And don't forget to share the journey. So, I got a big surprise when I get home. I'm in Colorado Springs. You can see I got the white trailer behind me. Got Mr. Chubbs right here. And uh, as soon as we get home, we've got a big surprise. And yes, it includes animals. So, stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm still on the road. I'm halfway home from Canyon City. And I don't know if you hear the peeping back there, but all them cases are baby chicks. So, because I do a lot of business with Tractor Supply, and uh, I, everybody calls me the governor, the whatever, because everybody knows me when I walk into stores, restaurants, etc. And I kind of like movie star status, but I'm not a movie star. Unless uh, my YouTube skyrockets and counts and I start getting millions of followers and stuff. But I don't plan on that happening anytime soon. But because I did all that, uh, they wanted to, they had to have all the chicks gone today, which is Sunday. And asked me if I'd be willing to buy the chicks. They'd give me a good deal. So I said, okay. So I got there. And there was a guy that wanted a couple boxes of baby chicks. So I'm like, go ahead. I kept my mouth shut. I let the guy get the chicks. Let him go. Let him pay. Let him walk out the store because I didn't want him to know I was get, buying them all and getting a bulk discount and all that type of stuff. Because you just don't do that to a store that takes care of you. So you take care of the store. It works both ways. So I got 50 chicks. Yep, that's right. That white trailer. You don't know yet, but like I said in the intro, I got uh, like 40 or 50 animals. So, this is a like 100 animal day today. So, because I take care of Tractor Supply and Tractor Supply takes care of me, I got all those chicks. Like I said, it's like 50 chicks. I paid 46 cents a chick, which is really, really cheap. They gave me 80% off. Uh, of the sticker price. It was 50% uh, off yesterday or a couple days ago or whatever because they've been trying to get rid of them buy one get one free so 50% off. And uh, so I got 80% off. I paid 46 cents a chick. And then on top of that like I said once again because Tractor Supply is so nice and they take care of me and I've been doing good business with them. Uh, the feeders and the waterers and the open bag of feed goes in the garbage. They don't wash them out and reuse them the next year. So I got three feeders <coughs> for free. I got three waterers for free and a three quarter bag of chick feed for free. And uh, now I gotta go home and I gotta build something uh, to put the chicks in until they get a little bit bigger. Uh, they do have feathers coming in, so they haven't been under the heat lamp at the store. So I'm not going to need the heat lamps, which is good. That's why I don't buy chicks. And uh, second reason I don't buy chicks is because you spend, you know, four or five dollars a baby chick. Then you got to have the heat lamp running that runs electric bill, the medicated feed. Uh, the mortality rate is high in baby chicks. Uh, they're not as stable as a big chicken and uh, they don't start laying eggs till 10 months old so you end up spending a lot of money on uh, a baby chick to raise them up and uh, the person that donated the animals to me in the trailer like I was telling them you can go on Craigslist and find um, pullets which they're fully feathered and everything uh, anywhere from 8 to 12 weeks old for about $8 and uh, it's a lot cheaper going that route because you're just say you get baby chicks for four bucks you buy these pullets for eight dollars so you're doubling the price but you don't have all the electric bill and everything associated with baby chicks that would cost you way more than four dollars for all those uh, weeks and months and I don't recommend buying uh, full-grown chickens on Craigslist because a lot of people throw their 
two and a half, three year old chickens on there and it, their egg production starts slowing down after two and a half years. So you spend 30 bucks for a full size chicken that you're losing your egg money if that's what you're going after for chickens. So that is this part. And uh, when I get home, I'll do the unveiling uh, when I let the animals out, it's pouring down rain. Hopefully it's not raining once I get up there so the animals don't have to get out in the rain. But I'll show you guys the animals getting out the trailer and then get a little thing set up, get all the baby chicks in it because I believe I still have that metal water that I got. It, it was a big long one and I think I'm going to get that and some chicken netting that I have and just stir them all in there with a feeder and a waterer and uh, call it good with a piece of plywood over half of it for shade during the day. And uh, I'll get a little bit of video of that. And then I'll sit down and go over on the couch everything that's been going on. Uh, some new stuff since uh, my Friday video that came out late, late Thursday night. And I will go from there. So I'll see you back at the ranch. <laughs> All right, so here are the animals I got. You can see it's a bunch of turkeys and ducks and geese. Then we got a female goat right here that has the white on her face. Or at least I believe, yep, that's the female. And then we got this guy with the little like bush on his head. That's a buck. And then a little, little itty bitty baby right there, which is a boy. So, I need names for all three of them. So if you want to put uh, male, female, and baby, or however you want to put it, and put in names, and we'll do a drawing next week for their names, and I'm going to go ahead and let them out. All right, so that pallet is sitting on top of this plastic piece to make this half waterproof. And then I put a pallet there with the chicken wire so the dogs can't get in. And we got a water in there, a feeder in there. And underneath here is all 50 baby chicks. So that's the baby chicks there. There's some meat birds in there about, I think, 12 or 16 something like that and then uh, up here I'll show you the other waterers and feeders uh, that tractor supply gave so we got the waterers there uh, the seven pound hanging feeders uh, which has water because it was pouring down rain on the way home and then I have the third feeder in here with a bunch of feed. And then, like I said, uh, a bag of the organic. I didn't even know it was organic. But organic feed. And uh, a couple of those nice big shovels. And like I said, uh, three quarters of the bag. So that will last a while. Hopefully... Enough to till they're ready to be loose and run around. And uh, I'm sorry if I sound down right now. Um, I had some really bad news when I got home. Uh, Trying not to cry on camera. Uh, 
I had Chubbs in the car with me, and the other dogs were in the house, and then me and Mouse was tied, or chained down here. And I came home to her dead down in her pen. And uh, the sheriff's actually on the way up now to take pictures and see if, uh, I don't know if she's shot or poisoned or uh, what. So, it's always a rough day on a homestead when something bad happens. There's some of the goats hanging out. There's stubs. And I'll just sh show you guys the new guys that are roaming around. Uh, the one turkey was hanging out with the peacocks. So that's one of the new chickens. That's one of the new chickens you can see because most other chickens are already up there for the evening. And these chickens are trying to figure everything out. And uh, here's all the other chickens. So they're probably hanging around the pond for today. And then you can see down here, uh, there's one of the new chickens and the peacocks was down there with that hen turkey. So I don't know if uh, peacocks can mate with the turkey or not, but the three male peacocks are excited about it there. And then it was windy here and I got to get that shelter out tomorrow. But uh, all the new ducks are there. You can see that turkey there on the edge. That's one of the turkeys. He's just hanging out with the ducks and geese. And then that uh, center group right there. That's the geese that I bought from them uh, a couple weeks ago. So you can see they're in there just mingling. All the ducks are in there. And then, of course, my other flocks of geese are further down. And uh, everybody's happy, so... Uh, I'm not going to uh, sit on the couch tonight and talk to you guys. I'll do an update video on Wednesday when everything going on. And uh, I'm going to head in and uh, wait for the sheriff to show up. So hope everybody has a good night. I'll talk to you guys later.